Hello, students. A very good evening to you all. Hope I'm audible to you. Children, am, am I audible to you all? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. Right. So, in the previous class, we had been discussing about dihybrid cross, isn't it? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, in the previous class, we had been discussing about the dihybrid cross, and we understood that. that uh, understood the three laws of uh, heredity. What is the first law of heredity? What does it? Uh, what is? What is the first law of heredity? The first law of law heredity, of children. Law of domination. Law, law of dominance. Yes, law of domination or law of dominance. What does it state? Ma'am, that the dominant trait would uh, be would be expressed over the recessive trait. Yes, if two pure uh, um, uh, alleles are crossed over, always the dominant character or dominant gene is going to get uh, expressed. Next, law of segregation. Law of segregation, children. What is the meaning of law of segregation? Ma'am, in which, like, during meiosis, the pair of alleles will segregate from each other. Yes, pair of, pair of alleles will segregate each other. So that, so that only one, one allele is present in, uh, like, each of the... From one pair, each of the parent, isn't it? So from each of the parent, only one allele will be uh, present in its progeny. Isn't it? Next, la, third one is law of independent assortment. Each and every uh, gene, uh, contrasting gene, will have its own identity. Isn't it? During the gamete formation. So this is one. The whenever we talk, talk about more than one character, uh, uh, whatever the character, more than any, more than one character, what is what is going to happen? The trait is going to have its own independent existence. Okay. If we talk about the color of the flower, it has its own existence. If we talk about the height of the flower, it has its own existence. Okay. Next is how do genes control characters? So, as I told you, genes are responsible to make a special kind of protein. Agar koi bhi plant ya fir koi bhi organism. एक रिसेस एक पर्टिकुलर जीन के लिए रेस्पॉन्सिबल है तो वो उस चीज के लिए उस तरीके का प्रोटीन बनाता है एंड हाउ डज इट मेक सो ओके फर्स्टली व्हाट आर जीन्स चिल्ड्रन व्हाट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय जीन्स मैम ट्रेड्स जीन्स मतलब ट्रेड्स ट्रेड्स मतलब कैरेक्टर्स इजंट इट सो हाउ डू जीन्स कंट्रोल ट्रेड्स so firstly we know that in the dna uh, in the cell there is nucleus or in nucleus we have what here chromosomes chromosomes ke thread like structures ko hum kya bulate hain uh, 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 source of making protein and that is nothing but dna segments of dna they they are called as genes so ye genes jo hain they make a special pro um, uh, proteins for a specific character Up, uh, uh, let us assume the plant height. What is the height? Uh, we are uh, we are just uh, talking about the trait called height. So plant height, plant ki height ko badhane ke liye, which hormone is responsible, children? Which hormone is responsible for the uh, 
responsible for the height. Control and coordination chapter. Yes, which hormone is responsible to make or responsible? I am unable to listen. Yes, children. Which hormone is responsible to give height for the plant? Okay, you know what is what are hormones? You know what are hormones, children? Yes. Mom, I okay. think what are hormones? Plants is oxen. Yes, oxen is the hormone responsible for the height isn't it what which hormone is responsible for cell division yes which hormone is responsible for cell division Ma'am, oxen. Oxen is for growth. Ma'am, growth of the plant. Yes, cytokinin is responsible for cell division. Okay, you have this much of knowledge, right? So, plant height. अगर हम plant height की बात कर रहे हैं, तो height is again a character. तो अगर कोई plant tall है, तो which gene is responsible to make it tall? अगर एक प्लांट शॉर्ट है तो वाई इट इज शॉर्ट सो हमें तो पता है कि आ, आ, किसी भी ट्रेड और किसी भी कैरेक्टर को अगर हम बात करें अगर हाइट की बात कर रहे हैं तो हॉर्मोन्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर हाइट ऑफ द प्लांट या फिर टॉलनेस ऑफ द प्लांट या ड्रॉफनेस अगर ये जो जीन रेस्पॉन्सिबल है हाइट के लिए अगर ये जीन ज्यादा प्रोटीन बनाता है एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम क्या बनता है प्लांट टॉल अगर ये जीन रेस्पॉन्सिबल है शॉर्टनेस के लिए देन ये ये प्रोटीन कौन सा प्रोटीन जो हाइट का जो प्रोटीन बनना चाहिए कौन बना रहा है प्रोटीन जीन्स बना रहा है प्रोटीन सो जीन अगर ये प्रोटीन लेस इफ इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग इट लेस एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वॉट विल है प्लांट इज गोइंग टू बी शॉर्ट शॉर्ट सो प्लांट हाइट can thus depend on the amount of particular plant hormone the amount of plant hormone made will depend upon efficiency of process of making it now uh, say for example if we take about a lot of hormone so agar hormone kon bana raha hai sorry uh, height ka jo character hai wo kon bana raha hai a special kind of protein ye protein kon bana raha hai it is nothing but the gene so ultimately the genes humne to bola genes are responsible for tallness and shortness so agar ye gene zyada amount ka protein bana raha hai at that point of time the tall, the plant is going to be here tall and if the plant is if the gene is preparing less amount of protein at that point of time the plant is going to be dwarf so ultimately genes are responsible for to control the characters so अगर हमारी नाक सीधी है तो इट्स ऑल बिकॉज उस जीन इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल टू मेक इट्स स्ट्रेट सो जितना प्रोटीन उस चीज को बनने के लिए चाहिए दैट इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ऑल अबाउट द कैरेक्टर्स व्हाट वी होल्ड इज अल्टीमेटली द गेम प्लेड बाय द जीन्स एंड जीन्स कैसा प्ले गेम कैसे प्ले करते हैं सिंपली बाय प्रोड्यूसिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटीन जितना अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटीन दैट मच अमाउंट ऑफ सिंथेसिस और विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द ऑर्गेनिज्म so therefore if this uh, if the plant will make it tall if the gene for that enzyme as a uh, alteration uh, sorry that makes the enzyme less efficient the amount of hormone will be less and the plant will be short if the plant has a like aise kuch bahut hai so ek din mein the ek to slide mein aur ek maine glass mein ek example diya hai if the plant has a gene for green seeds then it will make a protein which will give the green color to the seeds अगर जीन 
ग्रीन कलर की सीड वाली जो प्रोटीन है अगर वो बना रहा है तो देन सीड विल बी ग्रीन अगर जीन येलो कलर वाली सीड बना रहा है एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम येलो वाली प्रोटीन क्या होगी वो ज्यादा प्रोड्यूस होगी एंड द सीड कलर विल बी वॉट हियर येलो सो अल्टीमेटली जो प्रोटीन होता है हर एक कैरेक्टर का वो जो जीन ज्यादा बनाएगा दैट कैरेक्टर विल गेट एक्सप्रेस जैसे हमने येलो एंड ग्रीन लिया येलो वाला प्रोटीन ज्यादा बन रहा है तो येलो कलर का सीड बनेगा अगर ग्रीन कलर वाला प्रोटीन ज्यादा बना रहा है जीन्स तो दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम द जीन और द सीड कलर विल बी ग्रीन नेक्स्ट इज नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज कॉल्ड एज सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन सो वी नो दैट इन सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन देर इज द गैमेट रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर वॉट हियर रिप्रोडक्शन so male gamete as well as the female gamete the male gamete in the uh, male is nothing but uh, is nothing but sperm whereas the female gamete is ova or egg okay so whenever it comes to sexual reproduction hum uh, we know that the sperm has to fuse the egg and the sperm has half a set of chromosomes isn't it is yes or no children ये सारा कुछ हमने ऑलरेडी पढ़ पढ़ के रखा है सर नो सो इट इज लाइक ट्वेंटी थ्री पेयर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स आर देर आउट ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी टू पेयर आर ऑटोजोम्स ऑटोजोम्स मतलब डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ हमारे जो ट्वेंटी थ्री पेयर ऑफ क्रोमोजोम मतलब हमारा ब्लू प्रिंट ब्लू प्रिंट मतलब सिंपली वी आर हैविंग आईज नोज इज नो जहां पे जो रहना है वहीं पे रहेगा इज इट इट बिकॉज वॉट इट इज These are responsible for the blueprint. कैसा हमारा body structure रहेगा? Second question arises here. If we have twenty-three pair of chromosomes, are we going to be a boy or are we going to be a girl? Again, who is responsible for it? Children, for for uh, we are going to be a boy or we are going to be a girl. This is again be responsible by the genes itself. Ultimately, genes be con control करते at the same time the number of chromosomes. The number of chromosomes tell us about what is going to be our blueprint. Is me say twenty three chromos pair of chromosomes me say twenty two pair of chromosomes are autosomes. Our characters, our neck neck ka shape, our eyes ka color, our texture, the the whatever the characteristics we will have, it will be of all those. लेकिन वन पेयर विल डिसाइड आर सेक्स मतलब वेदर वी आर गोइंग टू बी अ मेल और वेदर वी आर गोइंग टू बी फीमेल जैसे हमें सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ हेरिडिटी से पता चला लॉ ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन से पता चला कि ड्यूरिंग द गैमेट फॉर्मेशन और ड्यूरिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म हाफ अलील्स क्या हो जाते हैं सेपरेट हो जाते हैं वैसा ही कुछ यहाँ पे हमें पढ़ना है सो so, when i talk about human beings sex determination in human beings 23 pair of chromosomes me say yaha pe uh, we have to understand that sperms will have half a set of chromosomes isn't it half a set of chromosome matlab 23 pair me se sirf 23 chromosomes kisme rahenge sperm me rahenge aur 23 kisme rahenge egg me rahenge okay out of which sperm will have the chromosome x or y ek sperm ke paas ek x hi ho sakta hai ya fir ek y hi ho sakta hai both x and y is not possible kyunki half chromosomes hai so whereas both are active dono kya hote hain active hote hain uh, the sperm can have either x or sperm can have either y whereas X and uh, X is a normal sized uh, chromosome, whereas Y is slightly small sized chromosome, and therefore this is a mismatched pair. Mismatched pair means X normal size ka hota hai and Y thoda sa uh, smaller hota hai when compared to X chromosome. When it comes to the mother, mother will have a perfect pair of X. क्रोमोजोम आउट ऑफ विच परफेक्ट पेयर ऑफ एक्स एक्स क्रोमोजोम तो इसमें से एक एक्स ही एक्टिव होता है वन एक्स इज ऑलवेज एक्टिव ओके सो इफ यू टेक एग एग में होता है सिर्फ एक्स क्रोमोजोम 
if you take a sperm it will have either x chromosome or either y chromosome when it comes to sex determination so 23 chromosomes mein se 22 chromosomes are responsible for autosomes characters whereas ek hi chromosome ya to x ho sakta hai ya to y are you following children Yes, ma yes, ma yes. Okay. So, sperm के पास इधर x हो सकता है या फिर इधर y. अब जैसे law of segregation से during the formation of zygote, I repeat, during the formation of zygote, मतलब sperm ने x x को fuse किया. So, जब sperm ने x को fuse किया, at that point of time, if the sperm is carrying If the sperm is carrying X chromosome, so look at this. Look at the schematic structure over here. So the father will have a mismatched pair. One is X, one is Y. Whereas a mother will have a perfect pair X X X X. Where whereas both are out of this two, one is active. हमेशा एक X हमेशा active होता है. In this situation, X and Y. During the formation of zygote, if the sperm is having the X chromosome, and already the male female is already having the X chromosome at that point of time, X कहाँ से आया? Father से आया? एक X mother के पास तो already X ही है. Child is going to be the girl child. When is when we talk about the chromosome, if the sperm is having the small क्रोमोजोम छोटा वाला क्रोमोजोम है वाई वाला क्रोमोजोम है एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम व्हेन द वाई क्रोमोजोम फ्यूजेस विद द एग एग में क्या है बस इट इज हैविंग सिंपली एक्स क्रोमोजोम सो इफ दिस एक्स फ्यूजेस विद द वाई क्रोमोजोम ऑफ द फादर एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम द चाइल्ड इज गोइंग टू बी द बॉय सो सिंपली द कैरेक्टर्स दोनों से इनहेरिट हो रहे हैं कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ट्रेड्स बोथ फ्रॉम फादर एज वेल एज मदर बट वेन इट कम्स टू द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ सेक्स द हाफ हाफ क्रोमोजोम जब आ रहे हैं एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम अगर एक्स क्रोमो एक्स वाला क्रोमोजोम या फिर एक्स क्रोमोजोम वाला स्पर्म आया है ड्यूरिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ जाइगोट चाइल्ड इज गोइंग टू बी द गर्ल चाइल्ड एंड इफ ड्यूरिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द जाइगोट अगर वाई क्रोमोजोम फादर से आ रहा है एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम द चाइल्ड इज गोइंग टू बी द बॉय चाइल्ड सो देर फोर अल्टीमेटली हु इज डिटरमाइनिंग द सेक्स ऑफ द चाइल्ड Ma'am, the male. Yes, the father or the male is determining the sex of the child, as uh, the child is inheriting the Y chromosome and the X chromosome from the father itself. Whereas the woman is nowhere responsible for to determine the sex of the child, as her egg is having a perfect pair X. Whereas in out of which both X is responsible, or out of which only one X is active, and uh, this X is only responsible for what here uh, to deter, uh, for responsible for the egg. Whereas when it comes to the uh, uh, sperm, it could have a mismatched pair of X and Y. So therefore, the father is responsible to determine the sex of the child. Is any doubt in this children? No, ma'am. No, okay. One uh, yes, one more topic here. Uh, I think evolution part wala as jo hai wo nahi hai ap ap logon ke liye, isn't it? So yes. it, I would like to just uh, uh, add on, add on. Let's yes, add on one more thing over here. Acquired traits and inherited traits. So we know that inherited traits. Inherited traits matlab the traits which have come on from uh, from our पेरेंट्स जो कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स या फिर जो ट्रेड्स हमको हमारे पेरेंट्स से मिले हैं उन ट्रेड्स को वी कॉल दम वी कॉल इट एज एक्वायर ट्रेड्स व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट इनहेरिट सॉरी इनहेरिटेड ट्रेड्स व्हेन इज व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट एक्वायर ट्रेड्स जो ट्रेड्स हमने हमारे लाइफ टाइम में या लाइफ स्पैन में हमारे ओन हार्ड वर्क से या फिर ओन बिल्डिंग से बनाई हुई है 
उन ट्रेड्स को वी कॉल इट एज एक्वायर ट्रेड्स so the acquired trades are those trades which are uh, acquired or um, build up or by its own individual chahe wo muscle building ho gayi ya fir learning a skill of swimming ya fir learning of uh, cycling ye jo sare jo skills hain which you have learned in your lifetime uh, is what we call it as acquired trades so ye jo trades hain this is not going to pass on to your uh, progeny ओके सपोज कोई बहुत ही अच्छी स्किल की वजह से स्विमिंग करना सीख रहा है सो इट इज नॉट पर्टिकुलर दैट उसकी प्रोजेनी या फिर उसका ऑफ स्प्रिंग इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी द मास्टर इन स्विमिंग सो देर फोर एक्वायर ट्रेड्स वो होते हैं जो हमने हमारे लाइफ स्पैन में हमने ओन हार्डवर्क से बनाई है एंड दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू पास ऑन टू आवर प्रोजेनी When it comes to inherited traits, inherited traits वो होते हैं जो हमारे पेरेंट्स से हमें मिले हैं एंड दिस इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू पास ऑन टू अवर नेक्स्ट प्रोजेनी ओके डन इज दिस पार्ट एक्सप्लेन इज दिस पार्ट लाइक होमोलोगस ऑर्गन एंड एनालोगस ऑर्गन ऐसा कुछ आपके सिलेबस में है no, It's omitted. Okay, fine. right so in the previous class we had uh, some of the questions i just uh, left out okay um when uh, did i ask this question when the f1 plants were self fertilized he observed that in plants of second generation f2 both tall plants and dwarf plants were present yes ma'am we had uh, the answer is that in f1 generation there might be a hidden trait which was not expressed uh, yes. yes so hidden trait or a recessive trait which was not expressed in the f1 due to the dominant trait yes sir theek hai it is possible that the trait is inherited but not be expressed give a suitable example to uh, explain this statement mom um dominant trait always gets uh, expressed whereas the recessive trait uh, does not but it is still there mhm mm that's why it okay. uh, the recessive trait may not always be expressed but it may be expressed in the next okay example mom of uh, um, homologous tall and homologous short in the first generation uh, uh, all of them are uh, heterogeneous tall no okay it's heterogeneous yes. and uh, Heterogen but in the yes, yes. yeah in the generation there is only one pure tall and uh, two heterogeneous tall and then on uh, one um, yes. pure or small small or dwarf yes pure draw pure draw yes. mm -hmm. right yes mam this shows that in uh, f1 generation there was a trait that is a uh, dwarf was not expressed but it was still there right very good very nicely answered how did mendel's experiment show that different traits are inherited independently how did mendel's experiment show that different traits are inherited independently mom at first he took yellow uh, yellow seeds and uh, round yellow and round seeds and wrinkled and green seeds but when he crossed them he also got wrinkled and yellow uh, like all kinds of combination is it yes dependent on mm -hmm. very good so with the second experiment about the dihybrid cross isn't it you are answering about the dihybrid cross so when you crossed off 
two uh, yes, genes or two alleles at a, at a single period of time. So it is not that he got only the yellow and uh, round and wrinkled and green. He got here the traits which are yellow and uh, uh, green and wrinkled, whereas uh, different different characteristics also he got in this uh, experiment with his experiment. How do Mendel's experiments show that the traits may be dominant and recessive? Mom, we can again give the example of uh, uh, pure tall and pure dwarf, the crossbreed of pure tall and pure, uh, pure dwarf. Pure tall and pure dwarf. Okay. Traits may be dominant and traits may be recessive. Anything, anyone else would like to elaborate this? Yes. Anyone else would like to elaborate this, children? Traits may be dominant. No one? Yes, children. Experiment. Which experiment you would like to explain here when it comes to explaining of dominant and recessive? Dominant express hybrid. Yes. Yes. How do Mendel's experiment show that the traits are maybe dominant and recessive? You need to explain here the first experiment of dominant, that is, sorry, uh, monohybrid cross. Yes, children. When the Mendel took what here? Pure tall plant in a homozygous condition and pure dwarf plant with a, with a uh, homozygous dwarf condition at that point of time, he saw that one uh, in the F1 generation when he crossed over, he got that. He came to know that the plants in the F1 generations are tall. Isn't it? So at that point of time, the all the plants were what here? Tall. Why the first plant, all the plants were tall in the F1 generation or the first filial generation? Because the dominant traits were getting expressed. Okay. Recessive characteristics were getting suppressed. Okay. So when a second, in the second filial generation, when the same uh, heterozygous uh, tall plants or hybrid tall plants were crossed, he saw that some of the plants were tall and some of the plants so and the very and some of the plants were dwarf. Okay, three plants were tall and one plant was dwarf. So this indicates that the, 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 the there are some characteristics which are dominant and which will suppress the recessive ones, and uh, the recessive characters will get expressed or not when they are not with the, the dominant ones. Yes or no? So the traits are inherited decently. Okay, the trait 
traits are inherited indecently. A student indecent in the sense the traits are inherited independently. Which experiment would like to explain here? Um, the second uh, experiment, the hybrid cross. Yes, the hybrid cross you have to explain over here. Wherein the two pair of alleles were taken. It is yellow and uh, round, wrinkled and green. So these, when uh, these two characters were expressed or when these two characters were cross, crossed over, he saw um, uh, the ratio of uh, plants of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1, wherein he saw that the, the characters are having their independent existence. Isn't it? When it comes to the each character, they have their own existence. And this is very much indeed. Here it is. Okay. So what does it say? When we cross over two contrasting characters, each pair of traits are independent of each other. So they have their own existence. They have their own existence and these are responsible for gamete formation during segregation. Every time, whenever a gamete formation takes place, they segregate, they separate, and therefore they have their own existence. And they have their own existence, but only those will get expressed when they are dominant. And uh, some will get suppressed when they are dominant and some uh, characters will get uh, recessive characters will get expressed when they are alone with recessive yeah, ones. What is what is monohybrid cross children? Mono cross is a genetic mix between two individuals who are uh, totally and genotypes. Pardon? Just a moment. The resulting offspring from the first or the first generation when they are expressed in the genetic ratio, we use monohybrid cross. Yes, so monohybrid cross is a cross between monohybrid uh, cross breeds. is a cross between two pure, two pure breeds. Yes, monohybrid cross is a cross between two pure breeds or uh, two uh, uh, contrasting, sorry, one contrasting characters. Two pure breeds, you said it a very right answer. You can say, or one contrasting character is also the right answer. So one contrasting character, matlab, humne kya liya hai yaha pe, ya to pure tall liya hai, ya to pure uh, draft liya hai, isn't it? So it comes as one uh, one contrasting character, tall, uh, that is also that pure uh, breed, you said, it is also the right answer. Pure breed kya hota hai? It is like a pure tall hota hai, ya fe pure draft hota hai. Okay. Next. Sex of the child is determined by father. Explain. This is a, it comes out to be two or three marks question. It has to be elaborately, elaborately, it has to be explained, children. The sex or gender of the child is determined by the chromosome, uh, the chromosome by which he is being formed. If the chromosome present in him are X and S, then it is girl, and if it is X and Y, then it is boy. And the reason why the father is uh, father is responsible for is that for, from the uh, mother only X type of chromo X type of genes are, are are passed on. But for the father, from the father, the sperms are two uh, two different type of types of genes that are X and Y. If the sperm do, donates X chromosome, then it is girl. If it donates Y, then it is boy. Yes. Instead of gene, we can use a term chromosome over here. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yes. Anyone else would like to answer this question? Sex of the child is determined by father. Explain. Very nicely answered. Thank you. Ma'am, he left no point to say again. Like, That's what no point. correct. He didn't leave any point to this. All the points were covered from that. That's, I would guess I would have wanted anyone else to uh, say it in another way. Okay, children. Next question. The tall pea plant bearing red flowers. Now you see here, ye konsa cross hai? It's a monohybrid cross or a dihybrid cross? Dihybrid. It is a dihybrid cross. So here liya hai tall plant liya hai, tall pea plant hai, or they are, are bearing red colored flowers. red color flowers hai. 
is crossed with draft pea plant bearing white flowers. Okay, draft plant hai and uske jo flowers hai, it is white. Represent the result obtained in F2 generation of dihybrid cross with the help of checkerboard. Mention the ratio of different pea plants, sorry, a plant obtained in F2 generation. Okay, um, uh, you can just do this in your book. Uh, if you have a notebook along with you, first you tell me F1 generation may what is going to be the uh, plant? What is going to be the color and the texture or the characteristic of the plant? And name the alleles. Yes. Ma'am, I think this will be the same ratio of uh, the one that we did, the example that is given in our textbook. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Tell me what are the alleles in the F1 generation? Genes kya hai? F1 generation ki genes kya hai? Ma'am, TR and uh, for... Uh... Okay. Okay, one second. <laughs> What happened, Priya? Mom, I was just saying uh, the members. I did not cross, but I cross it. Okay. Okay, Chris, cross it. Capital T, capital T, capital R, capital R, small t, small t, small r, small r. Mom, the first generation will be uh, capital T, small t, uh, capital R and small r. Very good. F1 generation ke jo, jo, jo traits honge, it is going to be the hybrid one, isn't it? Hybrid rahega. A capital T rahega, a small t rahega, a capital R rahega and small r. Okay, what is going to be the height of the plant in F1 generation? Ma'am, tall. Tall. It is what is going to be the color of the flower in F1 generation? Ma'am, red. Tall and red. Tall and red. So, shall we do, will you do this, children, or uh, shall I do it on the board now? Would you like to do it and show it to me in, uh, right now? Now? Checker board? Yes, ma'am, we can. We can. We'll try yes, it. yes, yes. Yes, try to do it, children. So, capital F, capital T, capital R, small t, small t, small t, and uh, small r. F1 generation ke first F1, 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 uh, F1 ke filial, F1, first, first filial generation ke jo characters rehenge, capital T rehega, small t rehega, capital R rehega, small r rehega. So, cross it with first with the third, first with the four. Again, Second with the third, second with the fourth.
Is it done, children? Almost, ma'am. Okay. If you have completed, what is the ratio? Yes, children. Then I'm um, actually I'm um, actually got wrong, so I won't be redoing it. You you got a wrong answer while doing it. Uh, actually, I did the wrong cross, so something else I got. Okay. Okay, not a problem. I just show it to you all how it is. It has to be done. Okay. Right. So you see here, uh, capital T, capital R. Capital T, capital T, and capital R, capital R. This is what here? Pure tall and pure red, right? Small t, small t, small r, small r. 
it is what here brown and white okay this is why brown and white this much you have to keep it in mind so the f1 generation mein kya rahega f1 generation this if it is pure tall parents pure tall parents and uh, pure tall parent hai and pure red wala parent and this is a, a short dwarf wala plant hai and it is having bearing what here uh, white color wala flower at that point of time jab hum first cross karenge f1 generation ka jo cross karenge what you will get you will get hybrid do not worry kya aane wala hai just you write down the first hybrid hybrid matlab a ka capital likhoge uske baad aap small likhoge uske baad capital t likha यहाँ से एक जीन लिया क्योंकि हमें लॉ ऑफ सेग्रीगेशन से पता चला है कि ड्यूरिंग द गैमेट फॉर्मेशन व्हाट विल हैपन द अलील्स और जीन्स आर गोइंग टू गेट सेपरेटेड सो यहाँ पे एक यहाँ पे यहाँ से एक जीन आया यहाँ से एक जीन आया कैपिटल टी स्मॉल आर ओके सिंस द डोमिनेंट कैरेक्टर वाला जो कैरेक्टर रहेगा वो गेट दैट इज गोइंग टू गेट एक्सप्रेस सो यहाँ पे प्लांट रहेगा टॉल कौन सा टॉल नॉट the pure tall it is going to be the hybrid tall whereas in this situation ye kya rahega red but not the pure red but the hybrid red are you following okay ab next iske baad this is what we call it as f1 generation we call it as f1 generation okay so f1 generation ho gaya What we will do it for the punnett square. हम हम लोगों को पूछा गया है the question you see over here. Result obtained in F2 generation of dihybrid cross with the help of checkerboard. Is that no? So ऐसा जब आपको situation मिला, I told you cross the first with the third. First with the third. What is the gene? Capital T. Capital R. Capital R. Okay. Right. next first with the fourth capital t capital t small r isn't it yes, next sir. third wala next what you will do now first wala ho gaya first wala third se first wala fourth se theek hai after that second wala kis se small t कैपिटल आर उसके बाद अगेन स्मॉल टी स्मॉल आर थर्ड वाला थर्ड सॉरी सेकेंड वाला थर्ड से एंड सेकेंड वाला फोर्थ से फर्स्ट विद द थर्ड फर्स्ट विद द फोर्थ उसके बाद सेकेंड विद द थर्ड उसके बाद थर्ड विद द फोर्थ सॉरी सेकेंड विद द फोर्थ ओके So this this way we got the genes and this way we got the alleles, isn't it? Ab uh, next what you will do? Next what you will do? We'll Again do. you will. So I just you will copy these uh, four pair of alleles. <laughs> you will copy this as it is to this side. So capital T capital R capital T small R small T capital R small T and small R. Okay. So uh. I want you all to complete this. How many of you have done this? I'm doing it. Doing it. Okay. Always uh, remember, children, when it comes to the dihybrid cross, you will have uh, the same ratio. Nine is to three is to three is to uh, one phenotypic ratio. So never leave this question. If you are asking, if you are asking, mention the ratio. अगर इफ यू आर फॉलोइंग फॉलोइंग शॉर्ट ऑफ के वेदर माय चेकर बोर्ड इज करेक्ट और नॉट करेक्ट और नॉट करेक्ट उसके अलावा भी यू डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू मेंशन द फिनोटेपिक रेशियो इट इज नाइन इज टू थ्री इज टू थ्री इज टू वन ओके सो शेल आई कंप्लीट दिस और यू आर टेल मी द आंसर फॉर दिस स्टूडेंट मैम आई थिंक कैन डू इट यू विल डू इट ओके यश इज इन इट Is it the yes? Yeah. Others, Priya, you got the answer, Priya. Yes, ma'am. I'm I'm counting the ratio. 
ratio you are counting okay Yes, children. Yes, I got it. Yes, you got the answer. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, quickly tell me the answers now. First of all, tall and red. Tall and red. Second one. Tall and red. Tall and third. Red. Tall and red. I'm tall and red. All the four are tall and red. Yes, ma'am. Tall and red. Next, tall and red. Next, tall and red. Tall and red. Right. Next, tall and white. I'm tall and white. Tall and very good. Tall and white. Then next, tall and red. I'm tall and, tall red. and red. Then next, tall, tall and white. Next, tall and white. Tall and white. Q Q is smaller. Smaller. You have got smaller. Smaller. So that's the reason. Okay. Next. next. I'm tall and red. Tall and red. Next. Tall and red. Tall and red. Short and red. Short and red. Yes. Short and red. Yes. Next. Short and red. Short and red. Short and red. Next. Tall and red. Tall and red. The next tall and white. I'm tall and white. Tall and white. Very good. Then tall and white. Dwarf and red. I'm short and red. Short and, short and red. Dwarf and then. Then dwarf and white. Short and white. Short and white. Dwarf. Short and dwarf and white. Yes. Dwarf and white. Everybody got the same answer. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. So let them ask us any kind of uh, characters, any kind of contrasting characters. We should remember the phenotypic ratio. It is nine is to three is to three is to one, the phenotypic ratio, as well as let them ask any kind of cross between any contrasting characters. You should be able to do this uh, checkerboard children. So you took a lot of time, almost you took some uh, 10 minutes of time to have uh, this checkerboard. So have a good practice of this. Take out uh, some, any two contrast, any uh, two contrasting characters, and then start doing the uh, Punnett square children to speed up the uh, Punnett square board checkerboard uh, concept. Jo bhi hai. Take up any koi bhi ab dominant character lelo, koi bhi ab recessive character lelo, or achhe se isko practice karo. Okay. It's difficult yes, hai ki you just to spend out your 10 minutes of your board exam. Ka 10 minutes you can sp spend uh, for the checkerboard. So you need to do, have a very good practice for this student. Okay? Ma'am, checkerboard was easy, but that's only ma'am while finding the first generation, I got confused. So that's why it took a lot of time. Okay. Okay. So while finding the first F1 generation, 
फर्स्ट एफ वन जनरेशन वाला जब कॉन्सेप्ट आता है सिंपली रिमेम्बर आपको हमेशा प्योर होमोजाइगस ही देंगे होमोजाइगस टॉल या फिर होमोजाइगस जो भी जीन रहेगा इट इज गोइंग टू बी इन होमोजाइगस कंडीशन ओनली सो वेन इट कम्स टू एफ वन जनरेशन में हमेशा वो हाइब्रिड आएगा हाइब्रिड मतलब एक तो कैपिटल वन कैपिटल वन स्मॉल वन कैपिटल वन स्मॉल ओके राइट सो वी शेल डू सम मोर क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन एंड ऑल्सो I am. Uh, uh, you are not audible, Priya. I'm now. Now I am winding up since the next uh, class is going to be taken. Uh, the next class shall we start off with our environment? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Okay, children. Then any doubts for today's class? The checkerboard wala concept done. Clear. Yes, ma'am. Clear. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Take up some more contrasting characters. Ko leke isko achhe se practice karo, children. Do not waste off your ten minutes of time for such a simple questions. Okay. Right. Okay, then, children. Good night. Yes. Ma'am, are we having another class today? Yes, yes. You have another class today. You have maths class now. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay then, children. Good night. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Salim, sir. Ah uh, yes, ma'am. I will continue. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. <coughs> Good evening, children. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. After a long time, uh, we are meeting again. I think uh, almost three, four days. Yes, sir. And not took the class. Yes, okay. sir. So, hello, children. We will continue with the trigonometry uh, where we left. From there only, we will start. Uh, i will try to complete in one more or two two more days uh, we will complete this trigonometry identities few more sums we will practice then uh, we can go to the next topic okay so okay so just a small revision uh, before the class yes uh, this question we have discussed Find the acute angle theta if sin theta minus cos theta divided by sin theta plus cos theta is equal to root three minus one divided by root three plus one. How to find? How to solve this one? How to find angle theta here? So cross multiplication. Very good. Cross multiplication. Solve it, children, by cross multiplication, and find the angle theta. quick square root of 3 sin theta minus square root of 3 cos theta plus sin theta minus cos theta If you multiply uh, root three plus one with sine theta minus cos theta, and what do you get? If you multiply, uh, same thing is equal to right hand side sine theta plus cos theta into root three minus one. So you get square root of three sine theta plus uh, root three cos theta minus sine theta, and last one is. Minus cos theta. Okay. Next, root three sine theta. Root three sine theta gets cancelled. Okay. 
uh, minus cos theta minus the cos theta also gets cancelled. What is left? Minus root three cos theta plus root three cos theta. Very good. And sine theta also. Yes. So you can take a minus root three cos theta uh, to the right hand side. So what you will get once you take it right two, hand side? Two root three cos theta. Very good. Two root three uh, cos theta and sine theta if you to the left hand side you will get a two, two sine, sine theta, theta. Okay. so i can cancel both two yes, sir. yes very good so i can cancel these both the twos Same. we got tan theta as well to root three very good tan theta so cos theta also you bring it left hand side you will get sine theta by cos theta is equal to square root of three sine theta by cos theta is uh, tan of theta is equal to root 3. Therefore, theta is equal to 60 degree. Very good. 60. 60 degree. Very good. This is the right answer. Okay. Next question. Okay. Quick recall. So, solve it children fast. This question I gave you as a homework also. Yes. Who will say how to start solving this? Arjun. Yes, sir. Doing so. Yeah, you just tell me how to start, how to solve this one. So that I will also start here simultaneously. So can we do it as tan square theta plus cos square theta the whole to the power five? Uh, but uh, you know the uh, that formula or identity tan square theta plus cos square theta. Uh, Yes, sir. No, so we will uh, take the square, sir. Tan theta plus cot theta whole square. Then we're gonna convert tan uh tan ten theta plus cot ten theta to tan five five. Oh, yes, theta sir, that the part two. Huh. Okay, so what answer you will get at the end? Finally, sir, two. Two two is the right answer, correct? But uh Okay, <clears throat> I will explain you once again which method I have told you. Here, tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 2 is given to me. So, this uh, actually uh, we have well, for you people only there is one identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. The remaining identities we are not using. Okay, so using that identity only you can solve. So, look, we will solve it uh, without using identity also we can solve it. See here, the given question is tan theta plus this cot theta I can write it as 1 by tan theta. Yes, Correct is equal to 2. Now you find out the LCM. What you will get? You will get tan square theta. Tan square theta plus 1. Plus 1 yes. by yes. tan theta. Equal to 2 tan theta. Correct? Okay. So here to, yeah, I can write this one as rearranging these terms plus 1 square. Okay. 1 square I can write no? 1 or 1 square both are same. Okay. Yes, Minus sir. 2 tan theta. Okay. So minus 2 tan theta is equal to 0. So now a square plus b square minus 2ab. How you can write this one? Tan theta minus 1 whole square. Right? Is equal to 0. If you bring square, so square root of 0 is 0 only. So what you will get? Tan theta is equal to 1. Okay. Now you got the tan theta value. That is plus one. One no, sir. Why? Sir, tan square theta is equal to one now. No, tan theta minus. Okay, one, one more step I will write. So that it will okay, be clear for you. Just a minute. Just a minute. Got it, sir. Got it. Okay. No problem. I will write it. So, tan theta minus of one is equal to square root of zero. Okay, square if you shift right hand side. So tan theta, this minus one is equal to zero. So therefore, tan theta is equal to plus one. We know the value. This value I will substitute over here. Okay. So tan theta is one means cot theta also I will get one only. No? Yes, sir. One by tan theta is nothing but one by one. I will get one. Right. So tan is to 10 theta plus cot raised to 10 theta is equal to 1. So tan raised to 10 theta is 1 raised to 10 plus 
1 raised to 10 is equal to, sorry, this one we need to prove. Uh, this one, we will calculate this value. Okay, what we will get right hand side, we need to find out. So, 1 raised to 10 is 1 plus 1 raised to 10 is 1. So, final one answer the value will be 2, two sir. Two. Very good. Correct answer. Okay. So, so, quickly we will go to the next question. One more question. This question also we have discussed. <clears throat> so, sine theta, sine of A plus B is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. This is like uh, an identity only using a uh, we're we gonna change that cos b in terms of sine. Cos b in terms of sine. No, sir. We are going to split yes, sir, uh, sine 75. Uh, so yes, we are yes, going sir. to split uh, 75 into 40 plus 15. Very good. Very good. 30. Okay. Uh, 45 plus 30. 45 plus 30. 45 plus 30. You will get the correct answer. Very good. Then you will substitute that value here. So you can split this one, sine of 75 is there, no? That one you can split as sine of uh, uh, 45 degree plus 30 degree, okay? So totally 75. So that value easily you can find out. So A in place of A, 45 degree, and in place of B, 30 degree. Here you can substitute sine 45. Also before that, you should know the values of 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degree. Okay. Sin 0, 0, 1 by 2, 1 by root 2, uh, root 3 by 2, and last one is 1. Uh, similarly, for cos in opposite, sorry, uh, root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, 1 by 2, and last one is 0. Substitute here. Sin of what? yes. Sir, is the answer root 6 plus root 2 divided by 4? Okay, uh, we will check. But, uh, root 6 plus uh, root 2 divided by 4. Okay, we will confirm. So, cos B is given. Cos of B value just now I wrote here. It's how much? 30 degree, right? Sir, yes. same answer, sir. Uh, very good. Because cos of A is 45 degree. Sine of B is 30 degree. Okay. Now substitute sine 45 is 1, one by, by root 2. two. Cos of 30 is also uh, root. Uh, root. Uh, root 3 by 2. Cos of 45 degree 1 by uh, root 2. And sine two. of 30 degree is 1 by 2. Right. Now simplification 1 into root 3 is divided by 2 root 2 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. Both the sides denominator 2 root 2 only. So LCM will be 2 root 2. And what I will get in the numerator? Sir, 3 plus by root 1. Three plus so, 1. Plus one. one. But this is not my final answer. What I should do next step? We should rationalize, rationalize it. Rationalize. Very good. Rationalization. I should. So rationalization, what answer I will get? Square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2 into root 2 by root 2. So if you multiply, Square root of 6 plus uh, root 2 divided by 4. 4, uh, sorry, 2 to the 4. So, this is the correct answer. Okay. You can take a screenshot. I will go to the next question. <clears throat> yes. Done. So, next question. How do you split this one? Tan of 105 degree in terms of A plus B, you need to split. So, 9. And sir, 45 plus 60, sir. 45 plus 45 60. Plus. 45 plus 60. Very good. Very good. 45 degree plus 60 degree. Okay. Why I am splitting? Because now 45 and 60 only. Because I know the values of 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree only. Okay. A tan of, uh, for example, tan of 50 degrees exist. The tan of 50 degrees also having a value? So it might have. In the book, it is not there. Like for us, it was not there, but we can yeah, find. Yeah, but, but it's there or no? It's not there. 
it's not there like if i'm asking 10 or 50 degree for your syllabus it might not be there but 10 for us okay does it exist yes sir yes it exists using scientific calculator you can find out exactly what answer is tan of 50 degree 13 degree 12 degree also you can tell okay using scientific calculator that you will study in your uh, degree level when you go for higher studies okay but right now it's not there so i got what is the answer for this question so without rationalizing it is 1 plus root 3 by 1 minus root 3 rationalization okay i'll do it So root minus root three minus two. Minus root three minus two. Okay. Yes, remaining students. Quick. You should be very fast. Because this type of questions you will not get more than two marks. Abhishek Nayar. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, what answer you got this for this question? So uh, I'm still solving, sir. Okay. Uh, and someone has joined with the letter A. Uh, can you please tell your name? Sir, it's Akash. Akash. Why Akash? Sir, by this day it happens. Okay, come on, who will say the answer? So this is not the correct Sir, minus I got two. Same answer. Yes, same answer. Yes, yes sir. sir. Minus two, minus three. Minus root three. Minus two, minus root three. Correct. The same. Very good. How many of you got the same answer? You can raise your hand once you get the answer so that I can go for the next question if it is easy. Yes, very good. Spandana, Kesh, Vivasu. Okay, good. Sir, answer is five. Five. Uh, Anshu, you got answer as five. Yes, sir. Sir, this answer is correct, sir. Hi, this answer is correct. Uh, root three minus two is the final answer. Okay, five students. Sir, one plus root three divided by one minus root three. Oh. Uh, yeah. after rationalizing we are getting 10 by 1 you tell me what answer you got 1 plus root 3 divided by 1 plus root 3 divided by 1 minus root 3 okay. 1 plus root 3 by 1 minus root 3 if you do the rationalization so 1 plus root 3 divided by 1 plus root 3 if you multiply both the sets you are having a positive sign in the numerator so you will get one plus root three whole square divided by here a minus b into a plus b. It is in the form of a square minus b square. Okay. So what answer you will get a plus b whole square a square plus next is square root of three whole square plus two a into b divided by same one minus three. Next, further simplification, one is as it is, square and root gets cancelled, you will get 3 plus 2 root 3 whole divided by, after subtracting how much you will get, minus 2. Further do simplification, 1 plus 3, you will get 4 plus 2 root 3 divided by minus 2. Here what you can take common in the numerator? Two. So if you take 2 as a common outside, you will get 2 plus root 3 divided by minus 2. Cancel it. You will get final answer as minus 2 minus root 3. Okay. Done. Very good, children. Very good. Next question. Fast. So this one you can just, just tell me that you can do later. <coughs> yes, sir. 45 minus 30. 45 and 30. 
वेरी गुड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री माइनस थर्टी डिग्री यस चलो दिस वन फास्ट डू इट डू इट क्विक Sir, a a uh, a sixty and b is zero. A you got sixty degree. Sir, a is forty five. And b is fifteen. Forty five. Yes, sir. For fifteen. Okay, okay. That two answers I got different. Uh, so, so uh, I can't see the negative one. Solve this one. Yes, just now someone said the answer. Who said the first answer? And you go. Yes. Okay. Uh, how how do you start solving this one? Sine of a plus b is equal to root three by two. Sir, a plus b sir is equal to thirty and a minus b a plus b is equal to sixty and a minus b is equal to thirty. Very good. Very good. Because we know sine of a plus b is given here. Uh, so I want exactly sine only right hand side. For sine of Sixty degree, I will get root three by two. So I will write this one instead of. Then a will be forty five degree and b will be fifteen degree. Very good, correct answer. Okay, so forty five and fifty is the right answer. Okay, correct. Now, so the root three by two, you can write it as sine of sixty degree. And similarly for cos a minus b, here I want cos only right hand side. So cos of Dash degree is equal to root three by two. Cos of thirty degree, correct? So I will write here thirty degree. So cos cos gets cancelled. A minus B is equal to thirty degree, and here sine sine gets cancelled. You will get A plus B is equal to sixty degree. So after solving uh, by using the pair of linear equations with two variables, you will get the answer as forty five degree and fifteen degree. Good children. The next question. Those are solving. You can do simplification. That part is very simple. Yes. Here comes your next question. Okay, so we will see how to solve this one. Similar question like the previous one. So I got a is equal to eighteen degrees. Very good. A is and b is equal to b is equal to twenty four degrees. Twenty four degree. Okay, chalo. We will see whether the answer is right or wrong. So tan of a uh, two a plus b is given. Here also I want tan only. Because left hand side I am having tan, so that both the tans gets cancelled. So tan of how much degree is equal to root three? Sixty. Sixty degree. Very good. Okay. And similarly here, cot cot of b a minus b is equal to thirty sir. Cot of thirty degree. Yes. So cot gets cancelled over here. And a eighteen be twenty. Yes, here you will get again the pair of linear equations. Both the equations you can solve. Thirty degree. This is your equation two, and the previous one is your equation one. But two, both the equations you can solve by using pair of linear equations. Two a plus b is equal to sixty degree, and next is three a uh, plus b is equal to sorry, it is minus b. Small correction over here. Just a moment. Sir, A is eighteen and uh, B is twenty-four. Correct, correct answer. Okay. A is eighteen and B is twenty-four. Yes, very good. So both positive, negative B gets cancelled. I will get pi A 
is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, final answer A, I will get 18 degree. When I substitute A in any one of the equation, I will get B value also, that is 24 degree. Okay, done. Next question. From here, we will start using the identities, uh, the only one single identity we use, that is uh, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. And where we can use this identity when you are having a square term, remember, if you are having like one minus cos theta, some of you write for this sine theta, that is wrong. You are not supposed to write like this. If you are having one minus cos square theta, then only you can write sine square theta. Got it? This is wrong. <clears throat> Come on. There are two questions. This is first question. One minus cos square theta is equal to cosecant square theta or A is equal to one. First, you solve this one. Answer. Done. Then, Very good. How many of you finished? Raise your hand. Simple question. Very simple question. Two. Okay. What about remaining students? Children? Sir, done. Very good. Once you finish, please raise your hand. One minus cos square theta, you can write it as? Sine square theta. Very good. Sine square theta. So we have we've studied the identity sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. So if you want sine square theta, only sine square theta value, if you shift cos square theta to the right hand side, you get one minus cos square theta. Okay. Yes, been also done, sir. Yes, very good. And the next, if you want only the cos square theta left hand side, you get one minus sine square theta. So here I'm having one minus cos square theta. So one minus cos square theta, you can write it as sine square theta. So this one here, I will write sine square theta into cosecant square theta is equal to one. Okay, only three students got the answer. And we know the reciprocals also. Sine, sine theta reciprocal, how you can write? One by cosecant theta. And for right. cosecant theta, one by sine theta, right? So here, same thing I will get sine square theta as it is. Cosecant, I can write it as one by sine square theta. So both gets cancelled. I will get one. Okay, done. For cos, yes, sir. cos theta, how we can write one yes, by sir. sec theta. Okay, and for tan theta. You can write one by cot theta. Cot theta is equal to one by tan theta. Tan theta. This all you studied in first uh, exercise. Second exercise. Are we doing the first one or the second one? Which one? First sum is over now. These are the okay. identity. Okay. So you should know this one reciprocals. Now we will do the second. We will go to the second question. Now, second question, what is given? Sine square theta into cot square theta is given. So, this cot you can split. Sine by uh, cos by sine. Cos square by theta by sine square by theta. So, sine square theta into cos square theta by sine, sine square. square theta. So, it will get cancelled. Yeah, very good. Cos square theta into sine square theta by cos square theta. So, cos square theta gets cancelled. Your sine square theta gets cancelled. What is left with you? Cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to one. This is identity only. Right? Sine square theta plus yes, cos is equal to one. So LHS is equal to R. Done. Okay. Next. Next question. <clears throat> Thirty minutes more. At least 120 sums we should solve in this 30 minutes.
a first jan first and very good sir can you write all the identities yeah sure why not so here we are using only one single identity which one i have written here in the previous slide this one only sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 i will write here once again actually there are three identities okay this is the identity which we are using and we if we rearrange this one we will get sin square theta is equal to cos square theta you shift right hand side you get 1 minus cos square theta okay and if you want only that so cos square theta very good beta first and second both 1 minus yes sir very good okay those who are attending the classes from the beginning uh, they know how to solve this one okay and the remaining reciprocal identity is just now i told you any extra thing if you want to know you just tell me i will explain you that sir first done very good the both done very good Our first one done. Very good. Okay. They're all. So here, what we will do? How to solve this one? Splitting. The first or second? First one. The first one. No. We will just substitute times for time. We will cancel it. Yes, sir. Yeah, you will get sine square of okay. I will write theta only divided by cos square theta into cos square of theta. So both gets cancelled, and right hand side one minus cos square theta is nothing but what sine square theta. Okay, so simple answer. <clears throat> Next, here how to solve this one? You have to so take the one minus cos square theta is equal to sine square theta. प्रॉपर फॉर्मुला cosecant theta into sin theta so cosecant theta you can write it as 1 by sin theta into sin theta both gets cancel you will get 1 okay that next question so these are like one markers or two markers yeah yeah just just one mark this okay. question here is one mark okay simple questions next sir first one done sir very good so and so second also second one is also almost done the direct identity sir cross multiplication very good very good cross multiplication if you do you will get the answer here also same thing if you just do the cross multiplication you will yes, get the answer done how many of you completed this both the sums sir me yeah you can raise your hand sir me sir two students three okay uh, remaining students finding it difficult or what Five. Okay, very good. It will take a second. Uh, please raise your hand. Okay, eight. Very good. Very good. So, Suryan, Shrohini, Nidhi, Asini, Anagha. Nine. Very good. Okay. Simple question. Simple. If you try, definitely will. Do. Next question. Eleven. Okay. Yeah. Now here comes. So here in this we have to rationalize, right? Yeah. Think. Two minutes. Yes, sir. We have to rationalize. 
Okay, let us solve it and let me know the answer whether you will get RHS or no. Sir, theta and cot square theta, no. Which one? Sir, we can transfer the root directly there. So it becomes cos x minus cot the whole square. Yeah, squaring both the sides. What you are saying? Sir, done. Okay, RHS, you got same as it is? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes. Sir, done. Very good. Sir, done, sir. Very good. Yes, come on, children. Spandana, you tell me how to solve what you did? Sir, I did rationalization. Okay. So, under square root only you kept? Yes, sir. Can you? One minus cos theta you wrote divided by square root of one plus cos theta and do, did the rationalization? Yes, the, yes, sir. Um, by one minus cos. Yes, yes. Cos please theta. answer. Okay, into uh, divided by one minus cos, cos theta. theta. So after rationalization, what you will get? Sir. Finally, I got one, uh, 1 by sin theta minus cos theta minus sin theta. Very good. So, children, once you solve this one, uh, 1 minus cos theta and 1 minus cos theta, both, both will become square, no? Whole square. Yes, so, sir. square and root gets cancelled. And in the denominator, a minus b into a plus b. This is in the form of a plus b into a minus b. So, you get a square minus b square you will get one square minus cos square theta, okay? So it is in the form of a square minus b square. So once you simplify, you get one minus cos theta in the numerator and in the denominator, just observe this one, it is nothing but one minus cos square theta is- Sir, sine square theta. Very good, sine square theta. Square root gets canceled. I can split this one as 1 by sine theta minus. Split the denominator and yes, take it. Very good. Would cos by sine theta. So 1 by sine theta is cosecant theta minus cos by sine theta is cot theta. What? Yes. Take a screenshot of it. We'll go to the next question. Yes, sir. Yes. Answer. Done, sir. Cross multiplication. Cross multiplication. A similar question repeated. Yes. So can we do this by squaring both the sides? Yeah, just try. You can solve identities by several methods. Okay, you try, try. Let's see what answer you get. Now I am going uh, from one mark to two mark questions. Okay. Answer. Very good. Done, sir. Done. Very good. Very good. Okay. Those who are finding difficult, a uh, simple method, uh, use rationalization first. Here, many of you, what you will write, 1 minus cos theta, you write sin theta, you just cancel this one. That is wrong. Square should be there, then only you can apply here the identity. Okay. This one, you can do the rationalization. Do rationalization, you will get the answer. 1 minus cos theta is there. So multiply with 1 plus cos theta divided by 1 plus cos theta. Now you solve. Very good. So once you finish, you can raise your hand. 
two students, three, yes, children. Please raise your hand once you finish so that I can go to the next question. If everyone knows the answer. Six. Yes, come on. Seven, very good. <coughs> Eight. Okay, shall I move to the next question? Children, anyone found it difficult? So you can move to the next question, sir. Yeah. Okay. You can move on. Yes, done. Here also, what you will do? I yes, yes. Rationalization, identity, LCM. In these three only, you will get the answer. So one minus sine theta by one plus sine theta into one minus sine theta divided by one minus sine theta. Numerator, you will get one minus sine theta whole square divided by denominator one square minus sine square. Further simplification, one plus sine square theta minus two sine theta. Yes, very good. Divided by cos square theta. Further simplification, you can split the denominator, one plus cos square theta, sine square theta divided by cos square theta minus two. Uh -huh. Yes. One by cos square theta. Yes, you also did same method. That's right. Sir, that other one will become sine by cos. Which one? Sir, sine square theta by cos square theta minus two sine by cos square theta. Okay, the one more extra cos I should write, right, right, sir. So one by cos square theta is second square theta plus tan square theta minus two. This cos square theta, if you split, so you can write cos theta into cos theta. Okay, I will write two. here cos theta into cos theta, okay? Cos so sine by cos is tan theta and tan uh, two cos. one by cos the one. theta, okay? So yes. this one, you can write it as secant theta plus tan theta whole square, okay? So chalo, we will go to the next question. This is not plus, it's minus. RHS. These all questions carries two mark. So it is just basic cancellation, so that's it. Very good. So cosecant, you can write it as a one by 
sin a minus sin a. Here there is negative sign. So one by one by cos sir, and minus one by cos a. Cos a. And last one is sin by the sorry. Plus. So cot a, how do you split? How you can write? One, one by, by 10. one by ten. Okay, sorry, it is a. This is also a. Okay, now further simplification will do. Yes, sir. When you have your annual day. What sir? Annual gathering you do in school. For APCC, it's on fourth of Jan. Fourth of Jan. Okay. For 20. one more. For one more school. So actually, we are not having. Our GOC told that uh, you have to study a lot. What is the final answer? You got everyone but one. So, what is tan square plus one equal to? What tan square plus? The identity. One plus tan square. 1 plus 10 square and you will not get identity. So what this one, again, you can split in one more form. Just to confuse you people, I wrote like that. Now you can see, you will get the answer. This one, you can write it in one more ah, form. Yes, sir. Someone was saying, but purposely I wrote. Sign by cos. Yes, sir. I was also solving like this, but I yes. got. <laughs> yes, yes. Very good. Sign by cos. And this one, cot, you can write it as. Cos A by sin A. Okay. You were saying this one, but purposely I wrote like that. Okay. Now you once you solve this one, you will get the answer. <clears throat> I think you people got Christmas holidays, right? Yes, sir. The typical that winter from day. Tomorrow. From tomorrow. So what you will do in holidays? Study, uh, study for the exam, sir. On the open day, we have to go to... Okay. After the uh, holidays, I think you have your preparatory exams. Yes, sir. And after that, we will be mostly... Like some of us would be busy with the annual day celebration. Like for APS AC. Okay. Fourth chat. And you had been to the trip also? From yes, school? sir. Which place? Um, sir, Wanderla. Yes. Wanderla, Wanderla, sir. Wanderla. 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 We are going to Hyderabad. Oh, okay, sir. Yesterday we were having our annual gathering. So in your school? Yeah. Sir, which school? K L E. Sir, what? K L E. K L E. Okay. Oh. Yes, sir. Got the answer. Very good. Yes, remaining children. So, LCM is sine A. Here you will get 1 minus sine square. Right? And here LCM is cos A. You find 1 minus cos square. 
and the last one is LCM is sine A into cos A. Actually, uh, uh, last time when solving this sum, uh, here I gave you the question as cos A. That question was wrong. So we did not get the answer. So I have corrected this one. Actually, it is not cos A, it's cot A. So once you find out, simplify, you get sine square of A plus cos square of A. Yes, 1 minus sine square is cos square of A divided by sine A into 1 minus cos square is again sine square of A divided by cos A. And last one is sine square of A plus cos square of A is equal to 1 divided by sine A into cos A. Now cancellation. Sine and one sine gets cancelled. Cos, one cos gets cancelled. Here this cos, cos gets cancelled. Sine, sine gets cancelled. What is left? One is equal to one. LHS is equal to RHS. Okay, next question. This is simple. Sir, when we are going to start surface area and volume. Surface area and volume we have completed, no? Yes, sir. Areas related to circle is like now. Anshu Kumar? You were not there while when teaching the surface areas and volume. Say so he was not. No. Oh, okay. The first chapter I started with surface area and volume. Now see, everyone is going to have food. <laughs> it's nine fifteen. Okay. Come on, children. A few so more. Some. Had... Very good. In class only, while attending the class. Good. No, sir. Huh? A little before starting class. Okay. Very good. It's right while class. Yeah. It's better if you have it before the class only. It's good to have the food and sleep after your dinner, after two to three hours if you sleep, then it's uh, you can easily digest. Uh, but difficult to attend the class. Okay, uh, children, how do you solve this one? A tan square theta, you can write it as sine square theta by cos square theta minus sine square theta. Okay, so next, LCM. Correct, no? Battery down? Yes, sir. Yes. LCM. What you will get LCM? A sine square theta minus sine square theta into cos square theta divided by cos square theta. Next. What I can take? Sir, sine square so, common. Very good. Sine square theta huh. as a common outside. So you get 1 minus cos square theta divided by cos square theta. So sine by cos to already you know. Sine square, okay, one by here, I will, I will write this one. One second. Sine square theta into one minus cos square theta is? Sine square theta. Sine square theta divided by denominator you are having cos square theta. So sine square by cos square is tan square theta into Sine square theta, here comes your answer. Okay, next question. Quick.
Who got the first answer? Uh, so one minus tan square is uh, secant, right? One minus tan square. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But but you are not supposed to use that identity. That is not there for your syllabus right now. Okay, sir. And not even that identity, right? One minus cot square is equal to cosecant. Yeah, I, 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 if you want, I will tell you one simple and easy method to remember that one. Uh, uh, yes, C and EST is common. Yes, CST is cast, uh, schedule, uh, ca uh, some cast and schedule tribute is there. Okay, and one more is CC. Just to remember this one, I'm giving shortcut in. So this one, uh, we know sine square and this is cos square in between plus will come and for remaining this minus will come if for st second square theta or a whatever you want you can write for everywhere we will get one only. minus t stands for tan square theta is equal to one and last one is both cot and cosec both will come with c later only which one will come last? I will write it last one. So which one will come last in series? Cot. So last one is cot. Yeah, very good. And here, cosecant square theta. Cosecant square theta minus quad square theta is equal to 1. Secant square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. Here only we are having plus. Sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Okay, sir. Okay. So these three identities are there. Just rearrange them. In textbook, they have given like uh, secant square theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta. Okay. So better you can remember like this. It will be easy for you. I rearranging you can. But uh, try to solve it by using the first identity. Okay, sir. This uh, here. One by one, one by one. Yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock. Children, okay. Uh, in next class, uh, I will tell you the answer. Okay, now you can go and have your food. It's almost 10 o'clock. Sir, okay. you had dinner? No, I will have it now after the class. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, children. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Good night. See you in the next Bye. class. Yes, sir. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye.